snurf his owner. So the Bible says the ox knows his owner. owner. And the ass his master's grip. And the ass his master's grip. Uh -huh. But Israel. But what? But Israel. It says, but Israel. Doth not know. So we are the only people. We don't know who our God is and who, where our land is. Who? The ox snurf his owner. Uh -huh. And the ass his master's grip. So that means all these nations. All these Gentiles, they know who they are. Eh? But Israel uh -huh. does not know. We are the only people, we don't know who our God is and where our land is. But we're going to show you why this happens to us. No. Go to um, Colossians 2 and 8. Two. This is the book of Colossians, uh -huh. chapter 2 and verse 8. No. No. Beware, lest it's, any man. It says, the Bible says, beware, it's a warning. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So, Halloween is a vain deceit. It's a philosophy of man. Read. After the tradition of men. Tradition of men. So, the ones I gave us, this is to celebrate. So, why are we celebrating uh, Halloween? Why are we doing that? Read. After the rudiments of the world. Uh huh. And not after Christ. So, this is not of Christ. So, this one in. It's in New Testament. We're going to go to Old Testament to show you that. One of our forefathers warned us not to do it. Go to Deuteronomy uh, 32, 16 and 17. The book of Deuteronomy, Ready? chapter 32 and verse 16. Uh -huh. They provoked him to jealousy. So this is Moses telling us that this is this was prophecy. What's going to happen on the, on the latter end? Ready? With strange gods. Strange gods. God. Read. With abominations, uh -huh. provoked they him to anger. So we provoked our God. They sacrificed unto devils. So when you celebrate Halloween, basically you sacrifice to devils. All right? Read. Not to God. Not to God. So this Halloween thing is not our, our feast. If the Gentiles celebrate this, let, let them do it. But we, as a people of God, we're not supposed to celebrate that, right? To God who they knew not. So, read that again. They sacrificed unto devils, not to God. To God who they knew not. So when you celebrate Halloween, you're not celebrating that for God. You do it for the, for the devil, right? To new gods. That's a new God. That's a new holiday. This was not there, right? And you cannot find Halloween in the Bible. Read. That came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. So this thing is a new thing. Halloween, Christmas is a new thing. We're not supposed to celebrate it. If you celebrate, what happened? Death. Death is going to come to you. Read. Uh, go, go to... Um, go to Mark. Let's see if this... If this celebration, we supposed to celebrate it. If Halloween is our custom, read. The book of Mark, chapter 12 and verse 27. Read He is not the God of the dead. So the Most High God is not the God of the dead. So, but basically, what's Halloween? Death day. Why are you celebrate a death day? The Most High is not the God of the dead. Read. But the God of the living. He is the God of the living. We are the living. So why are we celebrating for dead people? Why do we care about dead? Read. Ye therefore do greatly err. Because of this, because we, we try to assemble, we, we try to assimilate to these people. We err. Read. Read that He is not the God of the dead. So the most high God is not the dead, is not the God of dead. But the God of the living. The God of the living. Did you hear that? So-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American. We are not supposed to celebrate Halloween. Why are we celebrating? Why are we celebrating Halloween? It's not even of the Bible. Read. Ye therefore do greatly err. Because of this, we are in sin. Because of Celebrating that holiday that we're not supposed to do, we are in sin. And what happens when you sin? Go to um, Romans 6 and 23. What happens when you sin? The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 
23. Put it out. For the wages of sin is death. So the wages of sin is death. Halloween brings brings up death, right? But the gift of God is eternal life. So the gift of is the gift of God is eternal life. So the most high God gave us feasts to celebrate. We have feasts that we are supposed to celebrate. But we said no, we want to celebrate this. So this is gonna be us. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So we have a gift from uh, from God that we, that is eternal life. Sis, sister, do you celebrate Halloween? Read that again. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Hello, brother. Brother, do you celebrate Halloween? See, our people, like the Bible says in Isaiah 1 and 3, we are lost. Go to Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea 4 and 6. So, what we what we doing, we show our people that they should celebrate Halloween. Halloween is not our custom. We have pieces that we're supposed to celebrate. So, why are we copying other people? Read. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. Bring it out! My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So the most I can guys saying, the most I say, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So because we rejected God, we rejected knowledge, and the most I say, he is gonna reject us. That's why we wander around with no knowledge. We don't have no knowledge. That's why. We see people celebrating other feasts and we celebrate with them. That's why we went to Romans. If you celebrate that we should, what you're not supposed to celebrate, you die. Okay? Go to Romans again. 6 and 23. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Read. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Hey, sis, sister, sis, do you celebrate Halloween? Sister, talking to you. All right, read. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Hey, brother, 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 hey, my brother. Hello, do you celebrate Halloween? Huh? Okay, good. You don't celebrate Halloween, that's good. Read. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Okay, go to the eight. So our people they prefer to celebrate pieces that we're not supposed to celebrate and die. That's why we are here to teach you to come back to God. We're not supposed to celebrate Halloween. Why? What do you get from celebrating Halloween anyway? It's a satanic. Read. Okay. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. They shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken. The Bible says, if you don't listen, uh -huh, what's going to happen to us? Unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which are commanded this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if you don't listen, what the Bible is saying, all these curses is going to come to us. So is these curses happening unto us, unto our people? Yes. Go to 32. Let's see if these curses happen unto our people. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people.
Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. 